The world is in peril. It's chaos everywhere. We're not covering any of it because we're too stupid. You're black, right? Right. Allegedly. Robert Paul Champagne. Uh. All it takes for rappers to join pickleball is for Michael Jordan to make some Jordans for pickleball. Merry Christmas, you guys. You sound like every gay in Manhattan. I feel gay. To try it out. Are washcloths for the pores? How much is it gonna hurt again? <laughs> What's going on? Ever heard of the Pulitzer Prize? We sure haven't. Go to YMHstudios.com to get your tickets right now. Too old to be twerking. Drink the sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> My sciatica get to acting up. Slip a disc, do a missionary. Oh. <laughs> you guys ready out there? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now, YMH Studios. It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now, YMH Studios. It's the Danny Brown Show, we about to get live, let's go! Yo, 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 what's up, though? Yeah. Coming to y'all live from Austin, Texas at Wild May Studios, it's the Danny Brown Show. I got the booth boys with me, how y'all doing, fellas? What's up, baby? Doing good, man. man. Yeah, man, I want to thank y'all for staying later today, man. Of course. Anytime, you know man. what I'm saying? Anytime. Behind the scenes, man. Y'all got to get all the credit in the world, man. So shouts out to the Booth Boys, man. They stuck around today. Oh, shit. Because we got the, we got the, we got, we got my dog in the house, man. We got Zach Fox in the house. How you doing, I'm brother? I'm good, man. I'm happy to be here. Pulled up to motherfucking Austin, Texas, I'm man. I'm so happy to be in Texas. I'm happy you are here, man. We, we just had Zalupers on not too long ago. We were talking about your ass, man. Your ass motherfucking wear so many hats, man. I don't even know what to call your motherfucking ass. What is you, man? You a fucking rapper, comedian. You did the acting shit. What the fuck? And you body that shit. I don't, I don't think I ever got a chance to tell you that Appreciate shit. Appreciate you, man. Do motherfuckers be calling you that nigga in the airport and shit? Yeah, yeah. It, old people and shit see you and be like, I'm glad you said hey, airport. Tariq. You know what it is. It's, it's like TSA agent, aunties with the arm, the elbow fat. Like, that's my mm -hmm. demographic now. Like, that's the that's they the know you from base. the uh, Abbott Elementary Absolutely. shit, which was it's which I think man was one of the um, best shows to come out in recent time for fucking for sure. normal fucking television and mm -hmm, shit because mm -hmm. they don't be really like sitcoms and shit that be fucking fire and shit. Every blue moon you get some shit, and then they be already canceled and you just see that shit on yeah. <laughs> oh the fucking streaming service or Six stuff, man. Episodes of that yeah, shit. Yeah, but so. y'all body that shit, man. I'm glad that shit is on TV. Shout man. out Quinta. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, shout ABC, out Quinta, man. man. Yeah, because even from her, like um, I I. I Got up on your ass just off Twitter, man. Mm -hmm. You used to have one of the fucking funniest Twitters in the yeah. world, man, before they banned your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm back on now, but it's like I'm I'm chilling. But that old was, account was the truth, it man. It was the truth back then. That was raw. Yeah. <laughs> and not even just for the, I mean, you used to be on there joking and shit, but uh, 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 one thing I got to give you credit for is, um, you know, you do your rap shit. You know, we all do our rap shit. Mm -hmm. And you have fun with that and everything. And, but you always up. You really love this shit. Yeah, like, I, I got a whole theory now. A lot of these rap motherfuckers, they don't really love rap. Mm. Like the basketball players, they just tall as hell. Like they jockeys is just they like... motherfuckers made them hoop. But it's a lot of motherfuckers, they just got the chance to rap. But, you know, now it's easy as fuck to do this shit, I feel mm -hmm, like. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers can punch in and shit. We used to have to write raps, record yeah. them in one take. I got a theory with that too. I think a lot of motherfuckers don't write because they can't really read. <laughs> yeah, you think or, literacy or spell, is just yeah, like yeah, or spell the words out and shit. Like Lil Wayne dropped out of school at fourteen or some shit. That nigga ain't literate. You think like more <laughs> niggas are illiterate? They than dumb as hell. Yeah. yeah, they dumb as hell. It's they like can't, an epidemic. Yeah, like, imagine them writing, try to read that shit back. Mm. It's gonna sound like motherfucker. You remember? You remember being in elementary school? They be like, this nigga got to read. The class yeah. start laughing at the nigga yeah. and shit. Like, oh. <laughs> He get he get embarrassed and shit, beat a nigga up at the school and shit. Like motherfuckers laughing at me trying to read and shit. That's the silent pandemic right now. But your ass used to always rappers. put me up on some new shit. Oh yeah, that's your shit. Like bro, you could, I love it. Yeah. yeah, like you really. That's what I'm saying. You really love this rap yeah. shit, man. Who who you got up next now? I know you know. You gotta put me up on some new shit. I'm getting old now, man. Oh man, I don't be listening. I can't say I'm listening to rap as uh, much as I'm. And uh, I ain't saying I don't know cool shit. You know I'm a fan. Yeah. I don't listen to rap. You just. I'm just in your own world. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now it's uh man, Atlanta really got some crazy shit coming out now. Uh Veda, she's really dope. Uh Hemward, I would check say out. Anicia, like uh, Atlanta's really got like a whole new crazy. I think the last rapper play. I was really bumping from Atlanta, Baby Drill. Oh I yeah. Fuck with Baby that nigga's scary. Yeah, yeah I know, life. right? Yeah. He real life. All scary. these kids are scary, man. I don't yeah. trust them, man. Yeah. <laughs> all them <laughs> slaughter gang, all twenty one young nudies, like 
Well, well, I just I just listen to Frost Children, mm-hmm. Honey Gags, and shit. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm staying in my zone, man. Yeah, bitch, it's time for jazz. Like, <laughs> so you said you was working on a um a new show or some shit. Can you talk about that shit? Uh, yeah, really? I mean, there's a lot I'm working on. I'm working on an animated project right now. I can't say too much about yeah. what it's gonna be, but it will be uh like sort of a black. Uh, I guess I could call it an anime based in based in the Black South. Um, animating that right now. My homie Chibu is doing the art direction on it, and then we're gonna see what we can do with it next year. And um, yeah, developing a pilot with my homie Alex Russell, who works on Beef and uh, The Bear. He's he writes on he he wrote on season one of Beef, and I think he's gonna continue on The Bear now. But uh, yeah, yeah, just trying to get my hands in. More TV stuff and more acting shit, you know. Hell yeah, man! You killed that shit, man. But I don't know if, if Tariq was that far up of who your ass really is. Really. <laughs> That's a person. Really. I bet there was a lot of niggas that see that character and related to that shit. Yeah, because I was a Tariq once a point of time in my life too. <laughs> And we all know that shit. And and you do the stand up and shit too, man. Yeah. You still been hitting spots up and shit. Absolutely. You ain't you gonna hit some spots up in Austin? I think so. I'm gonna try to. My homie uh Mickey Leaper, me and a comedian by the name of Holmes. She's from out in LA too, by the way, in Kansas City. We got a pilot together called FinTech. It's based in the world of uh, you know, financial tech dudes in San Francisco, billionaire dudes who fuck up their money and and blow shit on NFTs and then they're on to trends and uh, you know, this dude's basically blowing his mom's money, Mecky's character. It's really hilarious. I can't wait for you to see it. Yeah, you know, I love that kind of shit. Because they motherfuckers, man, I, 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 nothing like a character arc of just a nerdy-ass motherfucker that just make a shit ton of money and just become a degenerate. Just <laughs> like, <loves it. laughs> like, like, nothing turns me on more than that kind of shit, man. Yeah, I love losers. Just playing losers and, yeah, jokes about So losers. you need more music? You working on some music shit? Yeah, always. I feel like I'm always juggling all of it. I'm just trying yeah, to Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To... I don't know how your ass do it, man. man. It's hard enough for me just to fucking rap, man. God Nigga, damn. I got ADD. It's crazy. I don't know how to not do it. Like, yeah. how to stop and pay attention to one thing. If, if, if somebody told me I had to stop it all and pay attention to one thing, I feel like the rest of my life would be terrible. I think the biggest thing is that I take from you, man, is that you have fun doing all this shit. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's what makes it like when you can... You know, have a career and like live your life off having doing shit that you really having fun with, man. That's like yeah. the American dream in some sense. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. got nothing to complain. It's a about. lot of motherfuckers that work and shit and they hate that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I definitely always get that vibe from you that you having fun doing oh, that shit, for man. Sure. So for sure. I wish I still had that same feeling. <laughs> I wish, I wish, man. All right, man, we're we going to jump into some of these Axe Dannys, man. <laughs> Axe Danny! You can always hit me up at the Danny Brown Show, Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. That's Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. All right, first up, we got Ugly Ass Boyfriend. Hi, mm. Danny. I recently acquired a boyfriend, but all my friends are city girls and are extremely mad about it. They don't like that I have a boyfriend and he's ugly as fuck to them. No one is rocking with me at the moment, and all I have right now is my ugly boyfriend. I was tired of not having sex and also being alone for the holidays, but yeah. my friends all hate me because of my boyfriend right now. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just nerdy with glasses. But question is, friends or ugly boyfriend? Kalen. I mean, uh, I, far as I know, man, ugly motherfucker. That nigga gonna be throwing some dick on gonna you, be man. That yeah, shit hard ugly core. nigga, man. He gotta, especially if you look. It sound like sound like you look. You you all right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she probably look really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for, for 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 your friends to be mad, like bitch, you can do better. No, they ain't hate. nothing worse than a nigga. You get with a fine ass nigga, I'd be like, oh, bitch. He probably got like. If you need a nigga to have all the attributes, you just big and greedy. Like, yeah. if a nigga ugly but he got some bread and a car and like all his teeth, you better run. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, man, ugly run with nigga, that. cause niggas know they ugly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. so when he get him, get him one, he gonna fucking put the rose petals down oh, for you, man. bitch. He about to, he about to roll Running the red baths, carpet out for you. You know rubs. what I'm saying? Show you the love that you need, man. So fuck them bitches. I bet you all them. I bet you ain't none of them bitches got no man. That'd be the mm-hmm. one thing about bitches, man. They um, you hang around a bunch of thirsty single bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be like, bitch, yeah. They always trying to ruin your shit. You just mm. seen that shit recently with Tyrese girl. Yep. And she was over there talking about, yeah, I fucked up. I, fucked I was messing with them bitches. I threw in the towel too quick. <laughs> the bitch go fuck over Tyrese. Look at that nigga, man. How you go? You know and what I'm saying? Look at how much Tyrese did. Man, that nigga was crying all type of shit. So man. what? The nigga a little retarded. He was baby boy. Yeah. Fast and furious. That nigga's a fucking model, man. Uh, he made. How you gonna act like that, sweet lady? Sweet lady off alone, bitch. What the fuck else you need? He got abs. 
Dog, that nigga sung Sweet Lady. I forgot about that shit, Really man. crazy. That nigga blow that shit to you in the morning, bitch. Come on, What man. the fuck you gonna do, man? Come on. I'm just saying, but them, them bitches ain't got no man. Don't never listen to a bitch that ain't got no man about mm. your man. That's that's the number one thing about it. Like, bitch, where your man at? That's it's like all listening you to a nigga with no car about your yeah, shit. Yeah, no money. Telling you how to get some money. Oh, why'd you get a Tesla? Yeah, what you going to uh, <laughs> Oh, ass nigga. <laughs> nigga walking. <laughs> yeah. Nigga got a hoverboard. Why you get yeah. a Tesla? Why you yeah. got a Tesla? Don't you know Elon is written? This? You know. <laughs> You know they be digging up them, them them batteries in Africa and shit, all them kids dying and shit. <laughs> motherfucker, but you talking about gas powered vehicles and shit. You know motherfuckers that went to war over the oil and all that shit. But you gonna talk to me about fucking what they doing with the batteries in Africa, man. The, the cobalt and nigga, all that shit. Nigga man. never cared about Africa yeah, before. Yeah, man, what life. the fuck? But I love to get some diamonds. All right, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, next up, we got risk to friendship. Yo, Danny, I recently come out of a four-year relationship. There's a girl I've been friends with for about eight years now, and I always really liked her. I asked her out a couple times before I got into a relationship, and she said no, but still remain really good friends. Do I just remain friends, or do I risk our relationship and ask her out again? Cheers, Ryan. Mm. Nah, man, you never want to be the creepy dude, man, because, mm -mm. you know, some bitches like having homeboys as friends. And I, I will admit, it's nothing like having a cool homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. a, a lot of niggas risk, you know what I'm saying? Because you got your boys. But sometimes your boys don't tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. If you get a real, a real down bitch, man, that know what's up, man, they they, they keep it 100 with you, man. So I will always Plus, say. If, if you keep uh, homegirls around, like true, like real solid homegirls, they will really be the litmus test to you around how awful the streets really, yeah, really are definitely. and how you need to stay in your relationship. Definitely. Because all my female homegirls, they be cheating, doing yeah, all type you be of like, fuck shit. Bitches ain't Smoking shit. cigarettes. <laughs> 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 not showering but like. yeah man i think a lot of dudes um uh, because cause in part two man like um female friendships man them bitches will really help your ass in a time of need oh yeah them bitches bail you out of jail all type of say, shit like i'm just saying I like your know, homies not one nigga that would your homies laugh at you about emotions shit. yeah nah you, you cry to your homeboy they be like nigga fuck that nigga but you a bitch do some push-ups yeah you a bitch <laughs> you you got you got you need that one female that you can holler at be like man i'm going through this i'm going through that and they'll give you some real fucking serious advice and mm -hmm. be truthful with your ass your homeboys the motherfuckers that treat you like a bitch too they just tell you what you want to hear sometimes yeah. you know yep but so yeah man don't don't ask her out again she already turned your ass down once man mm -hmm. you just at that point you just be creepy y'all been friends for yeah, over bro. eight years. Hang it up, nigga. Don't risk that. It's time don't, to play 2K with her. Yeah, don't risk that relationship, man. Yeah. There's, there's nothing you can do with that shit, man. Mm -mm. But so, yeah. Santa, baby. The season for a fresh cut is finally here with the sponsor of today's show, Manscaped. The leader in the low waist grooming just launched a fifth generation performance package to help you avoid another silent night in the bedroom this shit. Take care of your special snowflake with the Limework 5.0 Ultra and watch your South Pole shine like never before. Give the best stock and stuff a ball by going to manscaped.com and use the code DannyB for 20% off plus free shipping. Miss Claus would thank you. One thing I really love about Manscaped is how easy it is to use. They come with so many great products, man, to help you stay tidy down there. And trust me, you love one and love it as well. Manscaped is a one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. They have a special gift and performance package 5.0, which includes loads of perfect stock and stuff. What could be better than giving the gift of good hygiene and a few laughs? Starting with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, this is a crown jewel of the holidays and dare I say the best ball trimmer of all time. The electric razor at Ben Skin Safe Technology is a lifesaver and known for reducing nicks and cuts on this Santa sack. But the fun doesn't stop there. Anybody in the family have too much scruff? Look no further than the Manscaped Beer Hedger Pro Kit and Handyman Electric Face Shaver for all his facial hair needs. Dad have nasty nose hairs? Save the day with the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear trimmer. Is their boxer game weak? Take care of the chestnuts with Manscaped Boxers 2.0 featuring their significant jewel pops to keep you calm, cool, and collected. Have your nails seen better days? Manscaped has you covered with their new Share 3.0 Nail Grooming Kit. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DannyB at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code DannyB. Say ho, ho, ho to a well groomed mistletoe with Manscaped. The Danny Brown Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. With the holiday season approaching, I know things will get a bit stressful, whether that's the seasons changing, weather changing, or just dealing with family members. Whether or not you give family gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, 
going easy on yourself during the tough months or treating yourself to a day of complete rest. Remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. One thing I can say for me, therapy has been very beneficial. It's really helped me sometimes just to get my feelings out and I always feel better after it. So just remember, you always got help. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash Danny Brown today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Danny Brown. All right, next up we got One Train. What's good, Danny? My all-time favorite track has to be One Train. How you how that masterpiece come about? Joey and K-Dot Body, that bitch with your verse is my favorite. How love is created and what was your first reaction hearing it? Omar, um, One Train, that was just, you know, Rocky hit me up to do the verse. Um, I did a demo verse and then we was on tour together and he fucking um, was like, can you do your verse over? I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck is wrong with the first verse? <laughs> I ain't going to do too much different, you know, but I end up, I did the verse over. And I guess you're just probably talking about all oh, the fucking, um, everybody always asks me because I said, um, your bitch pussy smell like a penguin. And they always Ooh. be like, how the fuck you know how penguins smell? For real. Well, when I was a kid, we used to go to the Detroit Zoo and they had this exhibit called Penguin Area. Okay. And that's where you go into the shit. And it's just a whole bunch of penguins and it just smell like just fishy just shit. Because, you know, yeah. they, they feed the penguins fish yeah. and shit. So I'm just saying a bitch pussy a little fishy. <laughs> A but Detroit something? penguin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A Detroit a, penguin, man. Yeah, that's a crazier penguin. The craziest thing about variant. the Detroit Zoo is it's, it's kind of like in a residential neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's just on the block. Yeah, what? like it's like houses and shit around the corner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm like, like the property value got to be a little lower around there. It smells like tire shop lion the shit, zoo. all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They got these walls up and shit, but every now and then the motherfuckers, like I remember when this graffiti crew, they broke in and let some animals out and shit. Mm -hmm. And it was like motherfucking tigers and shit walking around the hood and shit. It was, it was fucked up. But Wait, um, When was this? This was some years ago, man. Don't get me the line. <laughs> it wasn't, it, it was a while ago, but yeah, the motherfuckers broke in and started opening up cages and shit. It was animals and shit walking around the hood and shit. They funny, they funny than a the motherfucker for that shit, man. That's a movie. But yeah, Posse Cuts is always fucking, um... We need an animated project with, with you playing the, one of them animals. and uh, <laughs> We need you, ASAP Rocky, playing a lion. Uh, you a tiger. The Looper's playing a penguin. Oh, shit. He a giraffe. Detroit. That motherfucker a fucking uh, yeah, giraffe, giraffe or some shit. Yeah. But yeah, man, that, that, that was some crazy prank that they pulled, man. Um, but just doing posse cuts and shit, man, um, it, it's, it's hard not to be competitive on them bitches. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm about to body these niggas, man. Mm -hmm. You know, doing songs with other niggas. But what's, well, now that I'm older and shit, and I you know, want to make music with people and shit, that'd be the last thing I think about. I think that's like a young, exuberant, you know, like you just want to be, you know, get your shit off and shit. Now nah, I just want to make the best possible song I can make with somebody, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause I just team playing. Yeah, cause I ain't no fucking battle rapper. If you wanna, if you wanna body a nigga on a song, go be a fucking battle rapper. Yeah, nigga. start a fuck? beef with him. Yeah, don't do some shit like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm out of that mind frame. I just want to make good music with people. Mm. You um, you got some uh, a, a a collaboration like list that you motherfuckers you want to work with? Oh man, I mean shit, you. Yeah, nigga, uh, I'm, I'm, nigga, I've been here. I'm yeah, waiting on you. Yeah, I know. I know the Loopers. He, uh, we got a couple things together, but I really want to zone in with him because both of y'all, like, like I look up to both of y'all for real. Like, nah, man. as far as the vein of, you know, rap that I'm interested in, and just the the sentiments that y'all that y'all get across and, and the style. I'm like, man, these two niggas figured it out. Because you, know you a mean? funny motherfucker. Dude. We silly <laughs> motherfuckers. That's what exactly. it is. <laughs> Detroit and the A got a lot of a lot of shit in common. So yeah. I would definitely say that, man, because a lot of motherfuckers in that de um, Atlanta was like motherfuckers Beverly Hills mm. living in Detroit <laughs> shit. Niggas like, I'm getting some money and move to Atlanta. <laughs> you know the fucked up part about that shit is, though, all them niggas that uh, was like, man, I'm going to get my money and they moved down to Atlanta. And he's like, man, I found this big ass house for like 100000 They mm. moved out there. Them niggas was living in the hood. Them Yo, niggas got yeah. robbed, yeah. shot, all Did type you? of shit. All them niggas, was, them niggas was coming back home five years later, battered and bruised, <laughs> yeah. man. Like Atlanta did me dirty, yeah, man. Yeah, you moved to Pittsburgh and yeah. now your ass down there with little Baby and them. <laughs> Dog, them niggas, uh, cause you know they been slapping them little houses up down yeah. there and shit. Everybody was down there moving and shit. I swear, every nigga that moved from Detroit to Atlanta, man, they didn't come back with a good story. Mm -hmm. Niggas went to jail or all type of shit, man. Yeah, so bro. I don't think it's really happening like that no more. <laughs> no. Cause I ain't heard no um, people from Detroit. But moving to Atlanta in, in general, that that don't seem like a good idea no more, man. It's still yeah. I mean, it's like moving to LA now. The cost of living is the same as as LA and really? New York. You're not net. Yeah, you're not. 
you're not like beating the system moving mm-hmm. to Atlanta no more. It's already cooked because you know they got the studios, Marvel shoot out there, Tyler Perry. Like, oh yeah, it's fucked up. Before the pandemic, oh my god, it was paradise. But now, you know, I think everything was kind of like that. Yeah, I see a lot of motherfuckers moving to Houston now. That's why the wings got bad in Atlanta. The wings, oh yeah, the wings fucked up now. I heard it's been like a drought, a yeah, wing drought. That motherfucker that trash. Ain't no more Jr. Crickets going on, man. No, nah, man. I think the wing shortage, the pandemic, fucked it up so bad. They got prepubescent chickens now, like because y'all must eat a lot of wings out there. That yeah. goddamn the best fucking um, chicken wings I ever had in my life was Magic City, though. They still, they still good, but they frying them chickens too early, nigga. Let them motherfuckers grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas got let them nigga grow up first <laughs> before you put. Niggas got fetus chicken. wings. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this preemie, preemie baby ass wing, like elementary school wings. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Little ass wings, and little shit. ass wings. Last, I, would, I can't remember where we got wings from. They weren't bad. They weren't bad though. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably on a low tier of wing. Magic City got the monopoly on the good cuts mm-hmm. because they they gotta keep making the best wings. They Magic fucking City. You know what I mean? Everywhere else gets a short end. American Deli, you cook. Oh, American man. Deli's done. All right, man. But Atlanta, they'd always been, um, that always been like the black heaven. Like, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think that would ever change, you know. Nah. Because it's just, you know, motherfuckers got money out there, man. Yeah. You know, so. All right. Next up, we got London Show. Hi, Danny. Looking forward to your London Show. Is there any chance you'll be doing a record signing somewhere? Would love to get some album signed. Best Bobby. Fuck no, I ain't going to do no motherfucking album signing, man. I know what y'all motherfuckers be doing now, man. I ain't got time for that, man. I, I, <laughs> What's wrong with the album signing? I mean, I would do it, but. Um, what I found out, man, these kids, man, they, they be buying vinyl and shit just to get you to sign it so they can sell it on eBay. They ain't trying uh, to keep it for them fucking memories or nothing like that. They yeah. just trying to get their bread, man. Yeah. So fuck that. Y'all fuck motherfuckers y'all. ain't making no money off me, man. Yeah. Y'all worse than the motherfuckers that be parked outside the hotels with pictures of me that I ain't never took before. I'll be <laughs> like, nigga, where you get this picture from? <laughs> nigga be like, sign this. It be a Xerox copy and shit. <laughs> Those niggas be the worst, man. You been in London anytime soon, man? You fuck with out there? Yeah, I was just out there uh, playing my homegirl Joe T's party. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about London. You like London? I love it. It's you one of my London? favorite places, really? man. Yeah, yeah. Because I, just, I mean, I've, I've been there a lot. Okay. You know, that's where my record label's at and shit. So I, I've been, I've, I've spent a lot of time in London, man. I mean. I could see a lot of people complain about the weather and shit like that, but yeah. I'm from Detroit, so it wasn't too far off okay. for me. But I mean, I just been so engulfed in a culture for so long, and mm-hmm. like all my favorite artists is from London. Like right now, that motherfucking New Streets album, that oh, motherfucker okay. is yeah, a banger. Something. Oh my god, man! I was I'm like this motherfucker still got it, man. Wow. Like so, yeah, man. That New Streets album, and I want to go see fucking Night Archives. She's she's in the U S. touring yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm trying might try to catch her in New York. But yeah, London, even now, like, they got the Cortez shit popping, man. Yeah. I love that shit, man. Cortez, yeah. however you want to say it, man. That's, like, one of my favorite clothing brands right now. So I just always been into fucking London shit, man. Mm. Watching Top Boy and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you watch Top Boy, you start talking like them niggas, man. You be like, where's my grup, fam? Where's my grup? <laughs> so yeah, man, I just always love London. You don't like London, man? I don't know. I think I just haven't really, like, dipped in like far enough into the culture there you know what i mean i gotta get i gotta get around the black people there you know like most places you got it's all about who you know out there Mm -hmm. type shit because i remember i was getting trash weed when i was smoking and shit then Mm -hmm. i got the pack out there it was great man all right man we got some freestyles Ooh. yep yeah we always watch these motherfuckers rap man they be good sometime man i i'm trying to see that i be pissed when they be good i be trying to see the motherfucker crash and burn yeah god damn it let me hear you bust a freestyle Anthony Von Helvet, let's go. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. Watching Alex Jones with the hose, red pilled him. Hit it till she hit the high notes, no helium. My lips sinking all in that pussy milli vanillium. I've been doing this since fat farms and sidekicks. I write hits and sell fake weed to white kids. Righteous, they be like where you buy this and no cap. It ain't weed, it's just spice, bitch. Must be the dog in me, cause bitch I'm a liking. I come for that neck like a tack on Titan. Hit the shit raw and it wasn't too frightening, but 28 days later in the hoe starts biting. Hmm. Hmm. That nigga look like a magician. <laughs> he wasn't a bad rapper though. I mean, he was saying some shit. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying, man. I Those hate was the, words. Yeah, man. He. Was, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. He, he was, was gonna. Yeah, I give it a. That's a solid like seven. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he, he got it going on. He said some shit. He said some shit, man. All right, man. God yeah, damn it. That nigga look greasy, though. 
Magician ass. That nigga look like the mayor of Greece. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see the next the one. The prince man. of Greece. These motherfuckers thought about coming off top like I just off a cliff. Instead, I decided to write some stupid ass shit. Shout out to the booth boys and Danny Brown. I'm a Filipino, you know how we get down. Hell yeah. Take your heart yeah, when you I know. peel off my mask. I'm a phantom thief, the way I'm bagging these cats. It's a masterpiece when I'm snapping these raps. Ain't no athlete, but I'll run up some cash. So here we go, never gonna stop it. Got a burning tongue like a bit of hot pocket. Casual in person <laughs> on the mic, I'm obnoxious. Body and all these rappers kill Mongo with the notches. Stop it, feeling all your bubbles if you try to test me all over the place when i spit so messy if i'm going out i'm going out like presley dead on the shit of toilet water on my testes oh Ooh. my god by the name and highness i mean i can't never i can't never diss my fellow filipinos man so, toilet you know, water on my testes yeah that was that nasty nigga was snapping. that was nasty you weren't nuts that was freaky right there man 10, 10. i don't know what you got going on man. yeah yeah that was um yeah that was yeah. a little nasty Swag but, yeah Pino's man up my Filipinos. I never really see fat Filipinos like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a new one for me, man. But yeah, yeah. He's the biggest shit. I liked him. All right, we're hopping to some white people shit. Ooh. We got um, duckies on the dash. White people shit. What's up, Danny? I think I may have discovered some white people shit. Rubber duckies on a dashboard. At first, I noticed this with Jeep owners. They have rubber duckies all across the dashboard of their Jeeps. Then I noticed rubber duckies on the dashboard of their cars. Have you seen this? Would you consider this white people shit? Sincerely, Lou. I ain't never really seen a motherfucker with no um, I ain't seen rubber that. duckies on it. So I don't know if this white people shit. That's what variant of white people? What? What is this a regional? The rubber duckies Dang. on the dash. I, I, I'm kind of pissed because I, I thought this was a sport. I, I thought this was going to be a sport or something like motherfuckers making duckies run or some shit. Duckies on the dash. Rubber ducky on the dash. That sound like a gunner song. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, rubber duckies on the dash. I don't know, man. That's some. Um, that's like babies on board, man. That seemed like um. I don't know, man. It might be like a soccer mom type of activity, man. But I don't know, man. I ain't never really seen no. Um, I need Al Yankovic to redo Bible on the dash by, by gunplay. Oh uh, man, you a hum man. <laughs> <laughs> Bible on a dash. That's one of my favorite gunplay Me songs, too. man. It might be my favorite gunplay song, For man. Sure. That and the um, cartoon and serial verse, man. Gunplay, yeah. man. He's a bad motherfucker, man. He's going nuts. I've seen his ass on Love and Hip Hop, man. I was like, man, yeah. it's it's crazy. Yeah. I wonder what the how the, how does the casting go for love and hip hop, man? Because they be picking mm. some of the most randomest people, man. I know. I mean, I I, uh, I would never end up on that. Shit. I can't do would it. Would you man. ever do it? Fuck no, man. Why not? I don't know, man. I just that uh, would be so fucking funny. It would though. be. I would be trolling. That's what I'm saying. If, if I was to be doing that shit, I would be trolling. You man. remember back in the day? Did you ever see Bus Driver on uh on a uh, blind date? Back in the day, I think I remember it was that. way back in the day, and he was rapping. He was fully in his rap bag, but he I was like, "I think I, I, think I do day. remember that, man." Yeah. Bus driver, man. Shout out to bus driver. Yeah. But yeah, he he hilarious for that. Yeah, but that was like an old MTV show. Uh, yeah, Blind Date was like you remember Blind Date? They would they would put you in the car and they would drive you around. And they would have them doing these dates and shit, but then there would be these like captions. It was like memes, yeah, like, coming yeah. up about the yeah. shit they saying. Like bus driver, hilarious for that shit. Funny man. as fuck. You would, you would go crazy on Love and Hip Hop. That I want to no. see that. Fuck no. I just <laughs> I want to see you dating uh like Sherry Shepherd or some shit like that. No, man. Or Whoopi Goldberg. Oh man. man. I just seen that video early, man, and um fucking Webby was talking about how much he'll fuck Whoopi Goldberg, man. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, that's one thing that's I so think it, it takes to be or he is, man. That's I think so it takes nasty. so much to be a rapper, man, that most of these motherfuckers are hilarious, man. I think Webby is one of the motherfuckers that's just so funny. I sit so every, I think once a year I sit around and watch his interviews and shit, yeah. man. And that motherfucker the man, goddamn, man. The woman he was talking DJ Envy and Charlemagne couldn't say Charlemagne mm. name reading the shit. Charlemagne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you rappers can't read, man. <laughs> this is proving my theory right, man. Most rappers can't read. And then when you a smart rapper, they think you lame. They be like, this nigga, I don't want to hear that lame ass lyrical miracle shit. Like, no, the nigga just know how to read, man. He's not dog. Y'all gotta chill on that. And it's goddamn DJ MB. I've been I've been engulfed in that shit too as well, oh, yeah. man. Um, I haven't tapped in yet. I know it's a, he did a Ponzi scheme, but I haven't gotten into the Dog, nah, it's crazy. It's funny, man. It's it's, it's yeah. one of those things, man. I mean, light skinned niggas gonna scam, man. Hey, come that's, on. that's all come they on. gonna do, man. Hey. <laughs> I never met a light skinned nigga that wasn't out here scamming, man. I uh, my full support is behind DJ Envy. I mean, <laughs> the thing is, what they was doing is they was like, uh, it was like robbing Peter to pay Paul type of situation. Mm. Like they'd be finding these like rundown like buildings and shit like that, and then they'd get it. 
And then they'll tell a motherfucker, like, we're going to renovate it and do this and do that. Yeah. This motherfucker put some money down on it. Then they'll get another motherfucker to put some money down on it. Like, getting motherfuckers to put money down on it. And then they was like, you put money down on it. Then they'll go pay you your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, they yeah. were just doing that shit back and forth. And then, But then this nigga, dog, um, they start reading the... Um, but this nigga, this nigga was just buying DoorDash and shit. Oh, he's a genius. <laughs> he was just spending that shit on just fat shit. I love it. But he's he, going down in the pantheon of, of light skinned niggas for sure. Yeah, it was all light skinned niggas involved. He's top man. five. But yeah, man, I, um, real estate has always been a um, tricky game, man. You know, motherfuckers always be like, man, you make some money, man, get into real estate and shit like that, man. But it's, I've seen so many drug dealers and shit like always try to like clean their money up and they always get fucked out of it. And that's yeah. what, that's pretty much what it was. They was pretty dealing with it. And then they, they was doing like seminars and shit like that and motherfuckers believing in them. Oh my God. Because you got to think DJ Envy Reach is crazy being on the fucking Breakfast Club mm-hmm. and shit like that. So motherfuckers involving themselves in that shit. And it's just, nah, man, I, I'm, that's just like, I don't, crypto, all that shit, man. Be Shout out DJ Envy, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? Everybody's like, he was the punching bag for so long. He's like, look, I'll I'll do some bullshit. I'm toxic too. Watch this. I don't know, man. That nigga might be going to jail though. For I don't, sure. Uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing worse, man. Like, damn, man. Like, I think you have to go to jail to reach the uh the like top ten of light skinned niggas. Like, like Christopher Williams, El DeBarge, uh DJ Envy. Chris Dorner, probably the best one we got. Chris Dorner, god damn that it, That nigga man. was like, y'all gonna have to burn me. Y'all gonna crispy my ass. That shit is fucked up, man. That's you know? not. They didn't got me in the chokehold. I'd have been fucking betting them fucking sports. We're not, we, we're not gonna call it betting, but I've been indulging. You, you been, know what I'm saying? And it, but it, it, is, it has been fun, man. I, I ain't going too crazy, you know, but. Yeah, man, I'm kind of down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got to get back. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to watch this game tonight, man. I'm so happy fucking basketball season starting because I don't really know shit about football. Mm. You know, I'll be trying my best, but basketball, I feel like I know a little better than that. But I'll be like, God damn, these motherfuckers scamming me on this shit. I don't know shit about either, but I'm watching basketball now because uh, niggas keep saying I look like Jordan Poole, so I'm rooting Jordan for Poole? him. Yeah. I guess I see it a little bit. Yeah, people keep tagging me in his, in his, in his stuff every time he's good or bad. They say he look like V's too. He do look like V's. Yeah. Jordan it's that Poole. picture right na- right there where he pointing. They keep, he about to shoot the ball a hundred times a night. This <laughs> motherfucker, I swear, he on the Washington Wizards. Ain't nobody else about to get a shot. This yeah, motherfucker's to... about to shoot the ball a hundred times. So, shout out to Jordan Poole, man. Jordan he from, Poole, he yeah. from Milwaukee, man. You trapped in with the uh, Milwaukee scene? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Certified Trapper. Oh, my God. Certified Trapper, A.O. Lee, mm-hmm. uh, Maya P., they they some funny motherfuckers too, man. They funny as hell. I don't hell. know, man. Kia Maybe, boys. Yeah, the Kia Boys shit had me in the chokehold for they a minute. I had to, I had to stop watching it, man, because it was almost like I was co-signing it, man. Yeah, but it was entertaining to me. Yeah, but I haven't been tapped in watching the Kia Boys. But uh, but Certified Trapper, I'm so happy to see him. Um, because it's it's hard to find um rappers that they just want to do their own shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just and I feel like him, man. He's just an original. Yeah. Like, you know, like the, the fucking beats, the claps, man. Even the way he fucking rap, man. His whole style, man. Like the videos. Bro, everything. everything. about him, man. So I'm so happy to see, you know, because I remember when he first signed his deal and shit, I was like, ah, oh, they going to try to change mm. this nigga. Have him rapping on some Metro booming and shit. Yep. And, oh, that nigga kept it the same, man. So I love their lingo. I, it's like undiscovered for me. I didn't know like how much lingo they really had oh, out yeah. there and just unique shit until I started tapping in. Put 50 on six, nigga. Yeah. That nigga, is, he's hilarious, they man. They said, Rob is ass. They say ass. Yeah. Goofy ass. Put that goofy ass on, on me. me. <laughs> that big, fat, juicy ass <laughs> on me. That song is my shit. <laughs> but I like I like that music, too, because, man, um, you know, a lot of shit now with all this drill shit and everything, everything is just not trying to sound so hard. Yeah. And even though they talking some... Um, Gangsta shit and they shit. It's silly. The bitches can still shake their ass exactly. to it. You know what I'm saying? I can see that shit going up in the Milwaukee club. Yeah. I would love to see what that scene looking like, man. Yeah. I know the bitches can fucking twerk to that shit and shake their ass and do all that shit. So yeah. anytime a motherfucker, you know, pumping the girls up, man, I'm I'm all down with that. I'm so happy to see it. Cause rap like left that space for so long. The last time it was really like that was like when Atlanta had snapped. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean with D4L and, and um, Travis yeah, Porter and them. And they, Travis they, Porter, they was in the same vein, but then it, it became like you know Margella and 
Yeah. Killing. Everybody's like, so dripped out like, now. Yes, yeah, too drip. Too like, much swag. Yeah. Everybody's just got too much swag. You used to be the freshest nigga in the club with a Foot Locker white tee. I know, man. Imagine those days, man. Take a spend. You can go spend. But, I mean, you, you just had to be consistent with it, though. Yeah. That was the difference, man. You you could be fresh but cheap back then, but you had to get fresh every weekend. You had to spend a Margella amount on white tea. Yeah, it wasn't no re-rocking. <laughs> no. You got to, this is a one-time wear every time you got busy. That's I swear, man, my hustling days, I literally used to fucking hustle all week <laughs> just to buy one outfit and a bottle in the club. <laughs> get that one bottle of Moet. <laughs> and I was probably spending about a good 300 on my outfit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was probably got to make me a good 500 every week. Oh, my God. But I, I, was, I was getting my shit. I was getting yeah. my quota. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, have a little money to party with and shit like that. But that was stupid. <laughs> Risking your goddamn <laughs> life for a fresh outfit, some Jordans and shit. You know, fashion is um, now to me, man, um, I'm more into like um, art pieces and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, like. No, I see you. You be going crazy. You and Z. <laughs> <laughs> going nuts like now with clothes and shit because ain't because i've been more into uh, independent designers now mm-hmm. and just getting to more so than the brands and shit yeah. you know because now I, I guess the niggas burnt it out man they cooked it now i see niggas in the hood wearing rick owens and shit i was yeah. wearing that shit 10 years ago man yeah. now they like nigga, i got the rick on it's like nigga come on man <laughs> chill out man like, y'all niggas ain't no runway nigga you your know kids what hungry is, is what the problem is like oh yeah and and then you Nigga got to be, be you got to be proportioned for that shit too. Mm-hmm. I was always a slim motherfucker. Obviously, I gained weight during my drinking phases yeah. and the fucking pandemic and all that shit. But I'm slimming back down. I'm getting back down to a sample size and shit. That's why I don't like about it. It'd be niggas that look like Doctor Robotnik and they got Amiri's on. They be looking like pugs standing Get up your and shit. Fat ass, take that shit. Off. <laughs> niggas be looking like pugs, man, standing up like ice cream cone. Top be big than a motherfucker. Skinny jeans on and shit. Big ass Balenciaga sneakers. Oh, niggas be. I mean, yeah, that's that's one thing they got to get together, man. They just got to get their proportions together. But the fucked up part about it is that all the hood shit that they could wear and shit is kind of cracking on shit. Mm-hmm. Like with baggy clothes and shit coming back in, you know, like you can really be fresh in the hood without having to spend all that money yeah. buying that designer shit. Like I knew it was fucked up when my nephews and shit started acting for designer and shit. I'm like, nigga, y'all niggas in the ninth grade. What yeah. the fuck you want some Balenciagas for? <laughs> like, that shit, that's out, nigga. I ain't doing that. Y'all all gonna be sharing them. Y'all about to get these LaMelo balls. <laughs> <laughs> you better get a pair of Lamellos and call it a day. <laughs> and I don't, I'm, cause I mean, I used to do it too, but obviously that's you know you see shit just coming up. You're like, man, I get some money, man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. So once you know you get some money and shit, you start buying expensive shit, man. But then you start realizing like this shit is stupid, man. Mm-hmm. Like now I get a lot of my clothes free and shit. It's like you know, like yeah. I don't even really gotta buy shit like that, man. I mean, I do. I like thrifting for the mm. most part, like getting a cool T-shirt like yep. that. It's nothing like finding some shit that that's not mass produced right you know or i like you know brands like i love what mischief is doing um and then you know i fuck with the homie down by doug and shit like that but for the most part man i don't really go crazy i don't be on fucking mr porter and shit like that no more man looking at sense yeah. and doing that shit i'll that, go look at sense before i go to sleep oh you go you still doing that i'll look at it before i go to bed since, but I man, won't buy nothing. I just shit, look and I'll be like, hmm. That shit. Me, me, me. <laughs> nothing about none nothing of this. was worse than just having your card already logged in to Sense and being on Xanax. <laughs> you, you, fucking, <laughs> you be up late night, being on that motherfucker nodding off. Next thing you know, four days later, some shit come like, I ordered this. <laughs> Oh man, I'm tripping. This shit was twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, you get like, oh man. No, that's who you look like—the nigga that stole the bitch tabbies. Why did I like, get tabbies? Why did I do this? <laughs> the first time I seen that, the bitch, the nigga that stole the bitch tabbies, I'm like, this nigga look like Zach Fox. I was like, yeah, we up. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody hit you with that. Like Zach stole the bitch tabbies. Bro, the whole day they was hitting me up. It was crazy. That shit was the funniest story in the world. I think that should become a comedy, man. For sure. Like how the how the one home girl did her shit. Um, what's her name? I can't think of it, man. But um, yeah, they should definitely turn it into some type of comedy, man. Yeah. That nigga stole that bitch tabbies, man. That's a Disney which, Pixar which movie. Which part two, man? Margella couldn't ask for a better um. They couldn't ask for better promo than right. that, man. Cause right. they had niggas looking for the tabbies now. Like, right. hold up, man, niggas stealing these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got to be some shit. That was always my problem too. If a motherfucker was dying over it, yeah, or getting rides for it, yeah, it made me just want it I more. Want I'm more, like, ooh, yeah. shit. Yeah, 
Niggas dying over Montclair's. Let me get one of them motherfuckers. Do. I don't care. They look like Ninja Turtle feet. Give me some. It's nothing like risking your life just wearing something. You're walking <laughs> in the street. You just get an extra <laughs> adrenaline rush. Like, that's black people shit right there. <laughs> wearing shit you know you don't, you could die for. And walking around the hood and shit like, yeah, nigga, I got this shit. Who gonna try me? You know what I'm saying? Luckily, luckily nobody ever got my ass, man. I remember I got a, uh, the Biggie Mermot. Mm. And that was a, a hot item motherfuckers was robbing motherfuckers for in New York. Really? I was wearing that motherfucker through New York. They was like, what, you got a death wish? I'm like, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Detroit. I'm from Detroit, you know? And motherfuckers was like, man, I can't wear that shit. I got to take the train. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't doing too much, man. Now living in Texas, man, I can't even get no fucking coats and shit, man. Yeah, That's the one thing you, I'm What do you do out here now? Um. Shit, nigga, just, you got the toes is out now, man. It's yeah, hot, nigga. You can't yeah. even wear socks around this bitch. <laughs> this is what it's like being cold and fucking um. It's just rain and shit, man. Yeah. Like, uh, fucking a few weeks ago, nigga, we had a fucking hailstorm, fucking golf ball size hail. It was ninety degrees outside though. I'm like, what yeah, the fuck damn. kind of? This is hell on earth, man. Yeah. A motherfucking hailstorm in ninety degree weather, fucking cracked my windshield. What? And then now, you know, so many motherfuckers' windshield got cracked. It's like a year wait to get the motherfucking, uh, get your shit fixed. So. Oh, so you just whipping a Flintstones car now. You just. No, my girl, she, she going to take it up to San Antonio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she going to take the trip to San Antonio. Yeah, look at that shit. Oh, nah, what? Motherfucking golf balls, man. Oh, hell no. That shit, I know it knocked the homeless motherfucker out. Had to, man. You was on 6th Street just living your best life and just got knocked in the head by a fucking piece of hell, man. But yeah, the weather's out Texas here. Texas getting plagues now. What the fuck? Yeah, no, I ain't. Cause I mean, in Detroit, man, we we had hailstorms and shit. It'd be yeah. hailstorm in Atlanta. No. It, but it'd be like little, like look yeah, like little, we'll get the little, little, like little bullshit, yeah, like, yeah little pebbles, a little or like our you wings. Know? And that shit down look like styrofoam. It <laughs> yeah. don't look like it could hurt you or I nothing. Think it is styrofoam. Yeah, from it don't the even, wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really be nothing, man. That shit but absorbing into the atmosphere. God damn it, man. Yeah. Damn. All right, we'll get ready to get up out this motherfucker in a minute. Spin the wheel in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, y'all got a wheel? Yeah, we spin the wheel in this bitch. I knew it was going to land on fucking Bitcoin. Okay. Did you ever fuck with the crypto shit? Nah. I tried for a second. I uh, I went on one uh, NFT site. I, I farted and made a voice memo and I put it on the NFT side. I said, sample this and win a Grammy. And I just did it as a joke. And I got 3.5 Ethereum off that. Oh shit. Which like in 2020, that was like 6K mm -hmm. or some shit like that. And I was like, oh, this is the devil. Oh yeah. Nobody should be able to do this. Obviously, you know my thirsty ass. Anytime I start seeing niggas making some money off you some shit, crazy I'm like, it? yeah, nigga, I'm about to get in this shit. That motherfucking shit History will not like be kind to us for letting that happen. That's just like Twitter. Y'all niggas was trolling me, man. The motherfucking Twitter, man. I went hard on Twitter. They gave me $8, man. I said, fuck this shit, man. Yeah, NFT, yeah, yeah NFT I mean, shit. you know, you, they just started yeah. saying you could pay them motherfuckers for tweets and shit yeah, and all that yeah. shit, man. They gave me $8, man. I'm $8? like, I couldn't even get a combo meal fully, <laughs> man. I'm like, fuck this Twitter shit, man. Elon got his goddamn mind, man. Yeah, I yeah. got 5 million impressions. You gave me $8, man. You a Damn. bitch, man. But yeah, shout out to What a Atlanta. dark time. Boy, I Bitcoin know, man. But um, yeah, the, um, and I'm I'm so stupid, man. I used to fucking get Bitcoin way back in the day, fucking fucking with Silk Road and all that shit. Like back in like 2010, when we was getting uh, Molly and fucking yeah. Lean and all that shit, man. And I, I'm pretty sure I got a wallet with some fucking Bitcoin in mm -hmm. it. That was, and when that shit cracked, I couldn't figure it out. And I'm pretty sure I had some leftover Bitcoin and shit. Yeah, I'm dumb, but. What a weird. We was listening to niggas who didn't understand actual money. Mm -hmm. Tell us about new money. I told you what it did, man. It just turned like regular nerdy motherfuckers into straight degenerates, man. Yeah. As soon as they that motherfucking money hit, they went crazy. You seen the mother? What's the um the one nigga that had the ugly girlfriend? I can't think. Don't get me. <laughs> Sam. Uh, Sam but, Bank. Yeah. Bank yeah, that nigga, man. His girl looked like. Wow, man. and she had like three of them niggas, man. They was dropping that bag. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm she, like, man, was she pimping? She was pimping. I don't was know, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I done hit some bitches that look like that. that bitch too, like man, Beaker. I done hit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, they was they was living their best life, man. It's fucked up, man. Damn, and she looking she looking rough too since them charges been coming down too. <laughs> 
<laughs> she, <laughs> she looking even worse, it's, man. Oh, it's down from Dog, here. It's down crazy. from here, man. Look at that look, man. <laughs> That bitch look like the, uh, the, the that's what that, like the end of Wizard of Oz when the Wicked Witch lost all her shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn, bitch. Oh, man. That bitch do look like Beaker, though. You a funny motherfucker, Zach. That bitch look like she touched a, a cursed artifact or some shit. Yeah, and man. <laughs> God struck that bitch with something. <laughs> you gonna be ugly forever. That's like with, um. She um, touched the Ark of the Covenant and got ugly. <laughs> That's like when you kiss the frog, like like some Cinderella <laughs> shit, and the bitch go back to her normal looking self or some shit, and she turn to that shit, be like, "Damn, bitch, that's what oh you look God. like." But damn, they was balling out though, man. That's what I'm saying. These type of motherfuckers. That's why I all this shit, man. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Since the 2020s, man, the nerds been winning, Ooh, man. Gosh, it, it, it's crazy. it's it's really fucked up. Like even with the streamers and all that shit, man. These motherfuckers, man, they getting too much money, man, and they could get to the point. They think they cooler than the regular cool motherfuckers. It'd be like, you said streamers? Damn. All of the motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Like, it's it just been getting crazy out here. I seen a tweet motherfuckers like, man, the streamers are the new rappers. Like, what? man, shut the fuck up, man. Oh, that's, man. that's impossible, man. Like, what? I mean, it's a, I feel like it's a um, low ceiling on that shit kind of anyway, though. Like, it's not going to, you got to save your money doing that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to, that's going to flip too, you know. Or like even I was saying, um, um, somebody was like, Casanet, the new 106 in Park. I'm like, man, it is dope though what he's doing, but until he puts somebody on, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like reacting to motherfuckers' music that's already on, which I feel like the motherfuckers we probably be that. paying his ass or For some sure, shit. That's yeah. like a new way of promo or something. Yeah. But no, you got to put somebody on to say that. Like 106 yeah. in Park, like you get your video on that shit. You was a new artist, nigga. Right. Your shit went up. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So until you like take a new artist nobody know of mm -hmm. and react to their shit and, and they just blow up overnight, then that's yeah. when you really got power and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. But yeah, I'm 106 in Park, man. I'm what RP? We miss that kind of shit, man. Cause it ain't really nothing in hip hop that that we don't got nothing that can put you on. No, that, and I think that's what I miss about program TV too. Like everything being so streamed right now and so like in the now, mm -hmm. we lost curation in that. You know what I mean? Like we used to sit and watch BET, and I would get up get home from school, and I'm like, who's gonna be on Rap City the basement? Yeah, today? yeah, we rushing home for that. And shit. You know, whoever's gonna be on there is gonna be. It's gonna be hard, and they're gonna freestyle. It's gonna be hard, but when everything is just everything, and it's always now, you know how you curate some shit mm -hmm. to be cool. That's why I think shit. And motherfuckers be always talking about gatekeeping. We need some gatekeeping around this motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like it ain't no. It's, this shit is like the wild, wild west out here, yeah. man. And like, and they wonder why a lot of these artists, man, can't fucking um, they can't make it like longer than like they got the the, mm -hmm. the lifespan is getting shorter. Yeah, because you already taking motherfuckers that ain't been developed yet. Yeah, like a lot of artists, man, motherfuckers been doing it ten years before they even got a shot. Mm -hmm. Type shit, niggas don't even know how to perform. Like imagine you make your first song and that shit just blow up. Next thing you know, you got to perform in front of twenty thousand people. You, yeah. yeah, of course you are gonna crash and burn quick. Yeah, so you know, I, I pray for you. That's yeah. all I can do for yeah. you, man. I can't. I ain't got no advice for your ass. <laughs> 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 I don't. All right, we'll roll the wheel. We'll, we'll spin the wheel over time and get up out of here. I don't. I ain't got no advice because only advice I can tell you is experience. Yeah. You have to be doing this shit for a long time, man. Mm -hmm. That's just like even you. You was doing this shit with awful and all that shit. Motherfucker yeah. just seemed like you just popped out the blue with a Jesus on. Like, yeah, no, nah, this nigga been doing time, this man. shit. <laughs> Free climbing. Free climbing. Put me on. That's when motherfuckers just climbing rocks and shit, right? Climbing raw? Climbing rocks, right? Just Climb, raw. Climbing yeah. without ropes. Yeah, oh, free climbing. Shit. White people shit. Okay. I was in rehab with a motherfucker that used to, um, that was his whole shit, going to climb and shit and this and that, man. It seems like a, um, I, I, but to be honest, man, I, I, I've, I've tried to climb one of those dumbass walls like David Busters or some shit, whatever, yeah. and you- You did good? Fuck no. You got to have some real <laughs> upper body strength and all type of shit, Finger man. Strength. That shit ain't, that shit ain't for the, for the weak at all. I, I'm too weak for that shit. God but no, nah, man, ain't nobody trying to risk their life, man, for a picture. Didn't somebody just die doing this? Or they die all the time doing this? They die all the time, Like man. a famous dude died doing this, right? It was like a big one, a big story, right? I just don't see the the the, the satisfaction you get out of this, you know? Like, you know, I climbed some rocks and shit. I, mean, I got to I the top. I kind of get it, you it's, know? It's, it's that, it's, it ain't the same adrenaline rush as wearing a mind clear in the hood. You yeah, know what I'm nah, saying? No, definitely <laughs> not. Definitely not. <laughs> but I guess it's just an adrenaline. Oh, yeah, this motherfucker died right here. I was up there dick hard the whole time. Yeah. Like, fuck, just got a boner. That boy busting the whole way up the, and down. They get close to the top, uh, nigga. Dick just get harder, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> Nasty motherfucker, man. Uh, 
I just want to bust a normal way, man. Once it got to get to me climbing rocks to get to dig hard, man, you can it's just over. have sex. You don't have to go up there. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 22-year-old, she died. Damn. R.I.P. All these people could have just did a perk. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just right. do Atlanta Coke. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> the Coke is sketchy, man. Um, but yeah, um, free climbing, man. Um, um, w- w- but I get it. a lot of people like they get they get off drugs, you know. Oh what yeah, I mean? and they got to get that get, rush to defend or something. They they need something else. Oh man, but like damn, bro. I mean, they got the indoor shit, man. Just go do that, man. Like, yeah. You know, you got. I guess the indoor shit is a little different, but I don't know, man. But no, nah, it's not something I'm into. Become a streamer, like yeah, you know, do something, man. Do something else. I'm not, I'm not into it, man. I, I can't. I mean, it, it probably is a great workout, though. No, for sure. You definitely get getting your muscles up and shit doing that. But no, nah, man. Yo, white people street points after free climbing. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got street cred. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's you caught people, a body to white. That's people. white people street. Oh, this nigga climbed Mount Everest. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You come in a party, they know you and everything. They, you got oh, the shit. juice now. You got the juice now. <laughs> All right, man. We about to get up out this motherfucker, man. Thank you to my brother, Zach Fox, man. Thank Bro, you for coming thank through you. and doing this, man. Also, shouts out to the Booth Boys staying over late and shit, man. Love y'all niggas, man. You Hell know, we yeah. got to get the boys credit behind the scenes, man. Hell yeah, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah, man. Because we know we don't do this shit at night. They ain't never been in this motherfucker this late. I appreciate y'all. We for do this shit in the morning. Me, yeah, man. I said my nigga really Zach coming it. through, man. Let this nigga pull up. Yeah, thank you. You got some shit you want to plug? Yeah, uh, make sure y'all check out uh, if you, if you, if you have time, go uh, see Fintech. It's on tour right now. Go check it out. Um, uh, Mecky Leaper's IG page. He got all the tour dates of it. It's a fantastic pilot. Uh, promise you it's probably going to get sold somewhere, become a great series. He's a genius. Uh, he worked on Jury Duty. It's me, him, and Holmes. Uh, we're touring the pilot, so we all do like 10 minutes of stand-up, and then they show the pilot. Uh, I'm on tour right now. Buy some tickets to that. My North American tour. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Keep watching Abbott Elementary. Keep fucking with Danny. Hell yeah. yeah Love you, brother, you know. man. Thank you for coming through, Hell man. Yeah. We about this motherfucker. See y'all motherfucker. Same time. Same channel. And we about this motherfucker. Peace. Peace. Love y'all. Yeah.